Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about document types and the number range we assign to document types. So basically document types are defined to segregate different types of documents. Like uh, we segregate uh, vendor invoices, vendor payments, customer invoices, customer payments. So vendor invoices are further segregated into two types like uh, one invoice is routed from purchase order and another one we book directly in finance, financial accounting. So these uh, document types are used to segregate. So if we want to extract only vendor invoices, so we can filter out the document type and we can extract only the vendor invoices. So in system let's go and define document types we use so basically SAP don't recommend to create uh, customized document types but uh, if we want to we have uh, this type of requirement we can also create the document type so SAP provides standard document type and these document types are used globally so when, wherever we go same document types are used by SAP and uh, further in document types we assign number ranges like uh, vendor invoices uh, will start from 1 to uh, 100 so these are the number ranges whenever we post vendor invoices it will start from 1 and then 2 3 is like this documents are posted so let's go and define document types and uh, number ranges to the document types for our company code. So document types are defined at the client level. So basically uh, for all the company codes we use same types of document and uh, number ranges are then assigned to company code level. So for each company code we can assign different number ranges. So let's go to configuration screen and let's see how we can create different types of documents so let's go spro reference img so in the financial accounting we define the document types so financial accounting global setting and document and here we are going to define document type define document types so you can see these are the standard document types like AA it is used for asset posting so we let's open this and see what are the options available for this so use you can see this is the number range defined for 01 so number range information so for our company code it is not defined yet we will define it so we are going to see for 1710 you can see number one is used from this number to this number and 0100 0, 0 is the number range defined or and this is for the year 2018 for different years we maintain different number ranges so like this this is the number these documents are starting from this is the end number this is the number in status like where until which number we have posted the documents so if we want to use external number range we have to check this two types of number ranges are defined in the system one is internal another one is external internal number range is sequential number range assigned by the system and the external number range we have to maintain it manually so SAP recommend to use internal number range so let's go and see where how we can use and how to define the document type so this is the number range whenever we reverse this document this document type will be used and the account types used for this document types are asset customer vendor material GL account or secondary cost so this option is used if we are using batch input documents like we are posting uh, um, documents in, in the form of batch like 
uh, we have an excel file and we want to upload the documents men uh, uh, in the form of batch so we will fur further learn about this uh, like we are using lsmw or uh, another option so if we check this during the document posting reference or header text will be the mandatory let's go see where we are maintaining the reference fb01 so this is the reference this is the header text so these two fields will become mandatory if we check these options these two options so this this is the standard defined document type so let's go and see how we can create like we are going to new entry i am using z h this is our customize we are using same number range so for reversal we are using sa or another one we can use it's depend on our requirement so we are using all the account types for this so we don't take we are not required to use this mandatory so uncheck this so like this way we can create our customized document types so our request is already created so is not showing so let's go and create our own transport request hassan implementation project so this is our request okay so this customization is now stored in that transport request so you can see send document type send document okay fine so let's go and assign the number ranges so this option is available define document number ranges so for our company code i have not yet defined the number ranges for the document types so instead of doing it manually we can copy the number ranges from another company code which is defined by sap which is 1710 this is a standard defined sap company code in the best practice so i am using that company code number ranges and i am copying from our company code uh, from uh, 1710 to our company code you can see here none of the number ranges is defined so after copying all the number ranges copies from 1710 to our company code so copying this all the number ranges are copied and different number ranges are assigned to different document types like uh, our vendor invoices are post starting from 1 and uh, customer invoices are starting from 2 it's all depend on our requirement what our customer wants to define the number ranges so it is taking time let's go and see uh, company code 17 was copied so now you can see the number ranges are already defined and instead of doing it manually system do it automatically so this is for a year so you can see multiple number ranges are copied and different types of document use different number ranges like in asset posting you are you can you have already seen this number range is 01 so for dz it will be 14 like it is used for customer payment and only two account types are used customer or gl account so 
this is all for today for document types and the number range is defined for document types.